What's going on guys, Victor here, and in today's fillet demo, I'm gonna show you how to fillet one of the coolest fish we got here down in South Florida, known as the queen snapper. There's a good reason they call it the queen snapper, because I honestly think it's probably the most beautiful of the snapper species, just red and vibrant with these huge eyeballs, this massive fork tail, and some of the best, sweetest tasting meat of any fish we got. Now, one thing you'll notice, queen snapper also have probably the biggest scales of any snapper species I've encountered. A perfect knife for a species like this is something like the Dextreme right here, which actually has a dual edge. So I actually have a serrated side on the back of my blade right here and my traditional blade right there. So queen snapper, a lot of you guys struggle with, you know, getting through those scales. Fret no more. Use the edge right here to break through these scales effortlessly. I mean, I'm not kidding. These guys got some big scales. Look at that. Even the scales are pretty. Incredible fish right here. So once I've break in right around the uh, collar of this fish, I'm gonna swivel my knife and I'm gonna work from the head down to the tail. And look at how easy it is with this knife. If anyone has ever filleted a queen snapper knows, they're not the easiest fish to fillet because these huge scales. I flip my knife around and now I'm gonna start to reveal this delicious meat. I'm gonna separate the fillet from the spine until I get to the center of the fish right here. Once I get to the center of the fish, now I'm gonna be stuck by a set of pin bones that attach the fillet to the rib cage that I gotta break through. You're gonna hear it in one, two, three. Once I break through them, now I'm free to go above this queen snapper's rib cage as well as down on the other side of the backbone. So this backbone right here that runs along the center, it's kind of raised. You point the tip of your knife down to get over it. Reveal all that delicious meat on the other side. Continue going over this queen snapper's rib cage. Down, just separating, separating, and just like that. Now I have my fish flipped over. We're gonna do the same thing. Find this head meat right here. Go in with the serrated side of our next stream around that pec fin down to the belly. Flip my fish around and make an outline once again, going from the head half to the tail half, just effortlessly right along the outside edge of the fish. Take my traditional side of the blade and uh, just start to separate the filet. It always helps whenever you're flaying any fish. I see a lot of people struggling with, they usually won't look to see what they're doing. They'll just have their blade in there instead of lifting. I always recommend lifting with one hand to really see what your blade is doing so you're not you know, missing any meat or cutting through an area you're not supposed to be cutting. I'm gonna free up this last little bit of head meat right here. Now once again, same thing. We've gotta break through the pin bones. So the pin bones that attach the uh, Rib cage to the fillet, broke through it right there. Now I'm able to go over the rib cage once again. Just like that, guys. Man, what a pretty fish. It's no wonder why this is a lot of people's favorites. I mean, just minimal blood, just real delicious, firm snapper. Now, to finish out our queen snapper fillet, I have my fillet lined up with the edge of the fillet table. Very important to do that because if I were to have my fillet in the middle, let's say there, then I'm kind of limited because I can't get my blade flush with the fillet table, which is gonna make it problematic when skinning. So I always line it up so that way I can have my handle on the outside of the fillet table. Be mindful, you do have an edge right here. So when you're gonna skin fish with this knife, to not cut yourself. So when I skin, I just push away from me at a slight angle, down against the skin, just like so. Look at that. Beautiful, clean snapper, guys. I can already see those big flakes. You see those ridges there? Just big, juicy flakes saying, eat me up. Okay, now we gotta remove the pin bones. I can feel them right here with my fingers. They end about here. 
go on one side of the pin bone, other side, lift it up, remove it, voila. Boneless, skinless, queen snapper. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in the knife I used today, find it linked below or at dextraoutdoors.com. Till the next one, see ya.